um, literally, there was a girl that was like kind of trying to follow behind them. How does she know that billionaires? Like, how does she know that billionaires? And she was like, they have money. They're billionaires. They own all these gas stations, a whole bunch of real estate things. Just she knew the whole scoop. And I'm like, OK, whatever. Um, they were, you know, talking very well. Um, they weren't interested in her at all. And I think it was kind of awkward because it's like they both want me. Um, so next time when I do hang out, I'll be sure to bring a friend, but girls, I think we, we did our big one last night. So I'm gonna challenge all of you guys, all of you girls, whatever, just get up and go out. Like when you don't feel like it, or, you know, you hungry, instead of just stopping by and get some takeout, just go sit at a bar literally. Cause I don't know, maybe y'all found my husband. I'm gonna let y'all know. <laughs> um, I'm going to let y'all know she did not find a husband. She's still single. Her recent videos are showing that she's still out here meeting imaginary billionaires. I just, I, 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 I don't, I don't know about ladies. I need y'all to understand. You go meet this Indian man that's a billionaire or a potential billionaire. You meet these guys that got a lot of resources. Do you go in with the attention knowing that he has options? And you will be one of the options. And if you are the main, you will just be one. One of the many probably in his situation. Are 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 these women okay? Because I don't think she's okay with him exercise option because she's telling some dude he didn't want her. They didn't want they wanted me. They wanted me. She have an ego problem. She have a delusion problem too. And I just want to ask ladies, like when y'all have this crazy delusional mindset. Y'all be wanting to dread all, date all these celebrities and people of resource and finance and stuff like that. Like, like I just want to know, do y'all understand these guys exercise their options? Do you go in with the mindset saying that, oh, he's going to do this for me. He's going to do this for me. Do you go in knowing that you are one of many that will make it through his bedroom? Do y'all go in with that mindset or do y'all expect he's going to be like, I'm going to give everything to you and I'm going to be faithful and be loyal. Like, do y'all do y'all go in with that mindset? Because it's like, I just hope y'all, I just want to know what mindset do y'all go in with, man. Like, it, it, it doesn't make sense because these women say all these things and it's like they go in like, oh, yeah, I'm dating this type of guy. No, you're not dating him. You're on the roster. There's a difference. If you're not his wife, you're on the roster. There's a difference. If he's that man that you say he is, you're on a roster. Unless you become the wife, you're on the roster. And even when you do come to wife, you're the main and he still has a roster. Like, I just I just hope women understand when they say that. It's like, I know you have your, oh, I'm pretty and I'm everything. That's the, Go with what you want to believe. Believe what you want to believe, ladies. But just know if you date that type of man, like. Just make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like, I'm subscribed. A group of white girls who have been at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is it not? So first off, let's be all the way motherfucking for real. The real reasons why black women are the least married is because black women still believe in black love and they still want a black. That's false. It's because I'm, they're masculine combative and they don't want to follow leadership so that's the reason it's not because they believe in black love it's because of other reasons partner that's reason number one reason number two is this generation of women for the past i'm gonna say hundreds of years of black women at least as far as i know it could be further than that we have been taught to make sure we have our own before we get married so we don't have a man thinking he can lord shit over us just because he pays all the bills and he's the only one with a college degree and he's the only one with a job so black women in general subconsciously or consciously want to have a job or have a degree or you know something to fulfill their time before they get in a long-term relationship and or get married and something to fall back on in case that marriage doesn't work is since they have been told this information, is it increasing their marriage rates or are they still struggling to find a man? Those are the questions and we need the answers.
Third, Black women have such small pickings when it comes to who they can and who they want to date, especially since a lot of Black women only want to date other Black people. And that's especially so when it comes to college, because what? Black women are the most educated. Not only... That's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. And just because you go to college and you're educated, that means you know how to critical think. That means you're smart. You're understanding what they're teaching you. You're just doing what they're telling you to do. Educated doesn't mean you know how to critical think. Don't mean you're logical. You're just regurgitating what that teacher is teaching you and you're putting it down on paper. So I don't know. The most educated nonsense got to stop. Only when it comes to gender ratio with their own race, but also when it comes to other races as well. And y'all see it everywhere. Y'all have been seeing it on TikTok. A lot of men, especially black men, do not want a strong, independent black woman because to them. No man want a strong, independent woman. No man want a strong, independent woman. I repeat, no man want a strong, independent woman. Don't just put it to us black man. The other group of races of men don't want that same thing. She's masculine. Fourth, can we talk about this statistic right here? Statistically, in other races, men date down and women date up. Okay? But in the black community, especially the black community in America, whether you're African-American, African, or Caribbean, because a lot of y'all Africans and Caribbeans are acting just like African-American men, okay? Statistically, black women in America date down and black men date up. That's cap. The average man makes 50 to below that 40K a year, and the average woman make less than that. So he dates down. The average man, when he dates the average woman, he dates down. So that's cap. And a lot of black women are average and some live in below average because the single mom rate in our community is very high. So some of most of my section eight and stuff like that. So a lot of black women are average, just like majority of women are average. There are so many black women who are college educated. They have a nice paying job. They have a car. They have their own place that are dating. And there's a lot of men that have no degree but still have a place a car and everything else you don't need a degree to have a place a car and everything else you don't need that you don't need that these women go get degrees and most not <coughs> excuse me most of them like like most of them sit here and um <clears throat> excuse me guys excuse me. Eating men who are still living with their parents or a roommate or a friend who don't have a car and still have bad credit for years y'all can go look this up yourself there's been a decline in black men going to college earning degrees and getting a high black women are getting useless degrees that's what i was trying to say black women are getting useless degrees to make the same thing we make working regular jobs useless degrees i paying job well yes part of it is due to white supremacy Another part of it is due to our own community and gang violence, gun violence, and killing each other over stupid ass shit. Also for the reasons that there are a lot of black men who aren't a part of gangs or gun violence who just feel like education isn't needed. There's going to be a part two. A group of white girls who are it's just a whole lot of nonsense. A whole lot of nonsense. And then we, like I said, they don't address the problem to just speak on by stuff like, oh, you know, and, then, and like I said, they feel like they're uplifting black women, saying all these stats and saying all these things like it doesn't help them. It doesn't uplift y'all. It doesn't make y'all saying this. Oh, you know, she's going to go get a degree and she's going to work the same job he works. You got a whole degree and you work where I work. Like, it's crazy to me. And then you believe you're better than that man because you got a degree, but you work in the same place he work. And let's say that man does make good money. Y'all say here, oh, oh, on the black community, women date down. Women date down regardless in that community because they date. They, 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 here's the thing. There's average men and then there's below average men that, that just sit here and do absolutely nothing. And they'll live in that girl's sofa because she wants that man. These women don't want the good guys that's actually doing something with their lives. 
there are black men that do something with their lives, but they want the scammers, the drug dealers, the ones that don't have nothing going up. Like it's it's a common thing in our community. And they could blame trauma, this and this, fast money, but it is a common thing in our community. And it, y'all could blame whatever you want to blame. It's happening. It's heat. They're dating down below, below down because they like that. Black man date down. Like, is, is they make it seem like it's like I said, it's a weird thing that we always have to sit here and we have to watch our women try to compete with us. And it's not a competition. It's not a competition. And that's the, the and, and it's hard to lead a group of women that want to compete with you. And we don't talk about it enough. Like, it's hard to lead a group of women that want to compete with you. We black men have to face our own women, no matter how great we become, no matter how accomplished she is. We have to face this thing where she wants to compete with me. When she meets a man who's not financially up there, she starts saying, oh, he got jealous and stuff like that. Oh, he was this. No, like you just don't know how you act. Because when you leave that man and you go to a man that's way more achieving, you combat him too. You argue with the man that wasn't doing nothing. You argue with the man that is doing something. At one point, you have to know it's you. It's not the guys. Because you didn't want the man that wasn't doing nothing. And you don't want the man that's doing something. You are the common denominator. Instead of working on yourself and building yourself in the black community, she want to compete. She want to compete. Oh, I'm doing better than that man that lay on the couch. Okay. And the guy that's very successful, she want to compete with you. She argue with you and stuff like that. But it's crazy when they go to work, they don't want to argue with the boss. They don't want to argue with the boss. She'll keep that job. But she, she'll come home and argue with you. And you provide and take care of this woman. Like, is. They will use all these excuses, but it doesn't make sense at one point, man. It doesn't make sense. But like I'm subscribed, guys. Black women in America date down and black men date up. It is literally five o'clock in the morning. And like I told y'all before, I don't make TikToks, but I had to jump up for this. She has a whole TikTok account and make TikTok like this one. Go watch her video, but 